You are the man who gave them the power to destroy themselves. And the world is not prepared. Truman needs to know what's next. Two. What's next? One. Rest in peace to Furiosa and Mad Max Saga. This film was released on May 24th on the Memorial Day weekend. And since this film was a box office bomb, movie feeders have no choice to get rid of this movie. Not just one, not two, and not even freaking five. This film, which is Furiosa and Mad Max Saga, has been removed from 880 feeders. This is embarrassing to Warner Brothers Pictures. And I gotta say, this film is way worse than The Flash. Hello everyone, this is your good old neighbor Nick Hicks, Spider-Verse, and Frozen 2, and Cam Possible Fans as one. And this is going to be the last video about it because I am getting really fed up about it and I just don't feel like raging right now. I'm not by critic, you know. So hey guys, this film is officially the lowest grossing movie out of the Mad Max movies, but I totally forgot that that Philly Road was a box of his bomb or flop. Just honestly, guys, just let me know in the comment if that film was a hit or flop. Which, how I supposed to know about it back then? Because I was a teenager when that film came out. Because I was like 13 or 12. I don't know. But anyway, let's get back to what I'm talking about. Yeah, this, yeah, this is embarrassing. This is embarrassing to everyone's favorite film of the year. This is completely opposite. This film was doing pretty well for Rotten Tomatoes, but nope, this film was a box office bomb. That's a bad thing. But honestly, guys, it's not. Honestly, guys, it's not because that people are saying this movie woke because they saying that George Miller is a male version of Kathy King. Oh my God! Stop complaining! Stop complaining! Stop comparing to George Miller to Kathy Kennedy. That is disrespectful, people. What the fuck is wrong with you? It's not because this film was a poor marketing. It has to be the budget and, and the release date. Let's talk the release date first. Having this film to be released on the Moya Day weekend. I'm sorry, David Zazel, but this is, has to be one of the dumbest ideas I have ever heard for this. I mean, for this film. Why not this film will be released on the same day as the anniversary of the ninth anniversary to Mad Max Fear Well, A lot of the critics in the audience will definitely, definitely want to see this and check this film out. But why this film had to be released on the same day as the Garfield movie? Do you not know that a lot of people will see an animated film on the Boy Day weekend? A lot of the critics in the audience do not want to see a wet at all film on the Boy Day weekend. The same thing with the holiday. Yeah, honestly, guys, I seriously doubt that Cray the Hunter will be a box of his hit because it's coming out the same day as the Son of the Hedgehog 3 or Mufasa the Lion King. But I gotta say, but those two films will definitely kick uh, Cray the Hunter in the behind because I will be nobody, I will be nobody want to see a Cray the Hunter over over again because you did the same thing with Meta Web, which I cannot stand that freaking movie. You know what? I cannot wait to see a limbo I struck back. Wait on that. <laughs> wait on that film. It's my most anticipated video from him. Even on me. In, sorry. Even his video is. It's not as good as the original one, but I still, I still, I still defend him anyway. But on to guy, we're gonna read the article right now. Furiosa and Mad Max Saga has been removed. I mean, removed from 880 feeders. Pathetic already after only two weeks of the release in the United States. This film earned only $4.2 million of the dollar Demacuri this weekend. I mean, leaving the top five. 
and that's why Bad Boy 4, aka Bad Boy Why Y'all Die, and aka a, a comeback to Will Smith out of the way he did back in two years ago. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna repeat myself. I don't honestly I don't wanna be like a book and record. But you all honestly you already know what happened after two years on the Academy Award. Honestly guys, it's not funny in the news, but it's pretty darn funny about the about the meme. They made a Lego version of that. They made a DreamWorks version of that. Like, seriously, DreamWorks? What the freak is wrong with you? But, yeah, I gotta say that a lot of the people will see Bad Boys 4 instead of this. This film better be on digital already. Because I'm getting sick of tired waiting. But this film is coming out on June 25th on digital. I really hope, I really hope this film will be good on digital. I don't. Honestly, I do not want this film to be like the Flash over over again. Or else I'm gonna be disappointed too. And it's a joy, Chris Hemsworth or even George Miller. This is all David Zazzler's fault, and this is all the marketing people's fault. This is your fault that you made this film a bomb because this film has some poor marketing, has the stupid release date, and this film has some high budget. Why not you do low budget? Low budget is the best. But nope, Hollywood is just being stupid, like always, and do some high budget. And this is why a lot of the movie is flopping. Like the like the Fall Guy and Furiosa are both a high budget. David Zazel, get yourself together with this budget and stop that nonsense. And you cannot and you cannot make a Bobby move a Bobby two without the director and Margot Robbie. And honestly, that ain't that's not gonna happen. I, I honestly why not? I have it. I have it. I have it on Storyfy. Don't touch my pod, right? Crap all. Anyway, guys, and yes, I heard the news about it, and I did not want David Zazza to ruin my idea, because I have so many ideas for Bobby 2, like having Gloria to be a Bobby girl, to be a Bobby girl, but David Zazza did not, I mean, did not like my idea, so that's why he's going to do a Bobby 2. Do not want to see a movie where I'm Margot Bobby and the director. Or else it's gonna be the end of Family. Sorry guys, I'm not honestly guys, I am not a honestly I'm not a type of person that I'm gonna see this movie woke. No. I know, I'm not saying that. I'm not honestly I'm not stupid. I'm not stupid. Don't pay me. Honestly guys, I have no idea what my next box of the video maybe for Inside Out 2 or Despicable Me 4 or even Deadpool Wolverine. 100 percent Deadpool Wolverine. I would do a 100 video about the box office of Deadpool Wolverine because I am in Deadpool Wolverine mood, which I just want to know who's going to be at Lady Pool. And I really hope Taylor Swift will be in the MCU. Or it's going to be the best casting choice since uh, Phyllis Pierce as Yetis and Harry Steinfeld as Kate Bishop. Which, those two was in my story file last night, so you can check it out. So, hey guys, that was my short video about it. I just feel bad for Anna Taylor Joy. And now Anna Taylor Joy is going to do something else. It's not like, sorry, it's not like she's, it's not like she's broke. Honestly guys, honestly, guys, she was not doing this for money. She was just doing this for fun. I already know she was having fun with this film, but once again, go film. It's not supposed to be funness. It's supposed to be about honestly. It's supposed to be it. It's supposed to be about business. I'm about to say sorry. Sorry, guys. That was my video. The last video about Fairy Yosei and Mad Max Saga box office bomb. Anyway, if you enjoyed this video, if you want to see more of this last content of Fairy Yosei. But not until I'm going to do a video about the digital release. Please, I highly recommend you hit the subscribe button, turn notification, and share it with your whole family. I'm just going to watch this. I'm sorry. I'm just going to wait until this film comes on max because I'm not going to pay 20 freaking dollars to, I mean, to see this film on digital. And that's ain't going to happen. And you know why? I'm just going to wait till digital because I won't be watching film upstairs because I'm going to be down for the last couple of days because of my surgery. It's coming out the same day as my inside out too. Yeah, I did not like. Sorry, I did not like the fact that Pixar have audacity to release. Sorry, to release the movies on my surgery. Yeah, it's coming out the same day as Kyle's birthday, which is KB Animation Studio. So, hey guys, that was my video. I don't want to. Sorry, I'm, I'm honestly, I did not want to to make this video because box office video is supposed to be shorter. But if it's longer, just stay with it. Anyway, guys, this is Nick Hicks, Spider Verse, and Frozen Two, and Can Possible Fame Two Thousand One signing out. And this film all doing way worse than the Flash. Good night.